In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five qualities a modern career should have in 2019. Now, if you work in tech or if you're a cognitive developer like myself, you are going to enjoy all of these five qualities. So let's start with number five. So number five is the ability for you to capture and digitize your skills. You see, if you always have to go to the client site or you always have to be present for you to do your work, then you are never going to really have free time. Being a cognitive developer, I'm able to capture all of my skills and my techniques into digital form. I can create copies of my skill so that I can reuse them. I've created a course where I've packaged all of my skills and if you are in tech, you can also do the same. I encourage that more people start thinking this way so that we can help the next generation because what they are learning in college has nothing in common with what they are actually going to need in the real world. Now number four is the ability to become a freelancer or a contractor. Believe it or not, not all careers allow you to freelance because it just doesn't make logical sense. Now, if you are in tech or if you are a cognitive developer, you know that you can very easily start your own company or do freelance work. And the main advantage is that you can pick and choose where you want to work, you know, with whom you want to work with. And also, after each contract, you can take as much time as you want. You know, case in point, I prefer to take three to six months after every contract to travel the world. And this leads to number three, the ability to work remote. If you have a career or you're going to pick a career, make sure that you can work from home. And by home, I just don't mean working from home in Idaho. I mean working from home in Madrid, right? I've been able to work for clients from Sao Paulo, uh, Bangkok, Thailand, Accra, Ghana, Lisbon, uh, you name it. Because of technology, you can work from anywhere in the world and there are incredible advantages when you work outside of the United States. You can quadruple your income very easily by relocating from the United States. If your income is going to quadruple automatically by moving out of the United States, well then you don't have to work as hard. You can work four times less, meaning you can only decide to work maybe 10 hours a week because you don't need as many hours or as many dollars for you to break even. So the ability to work remote for me is easily number one. I think everyone should work from home if they can because I think that you know when you get a new role and you don't have to relocate to the city, you know sometimes you don't want to relocate to a dangerous city. You know maybe you don't want to move to um, a city where it's cold, right? Now if you force employees to relocate, a lot of the times they are not very happy. They may not stay very long. It can it can depress you. It can depress you if you are living in a city far away from your family when the work can be done remote. So make sure that you keep this in mind when you are picking a career. Okay, so number two is money. Yes, it is important. Money. It makes life easier. You can help a lot of people. You know, when my siblings or friends ask me for help, it is not a problem because I happen to be a Cagnus developer and being a Cagnus developer is great. Believe you me. You can easily make $150,000 in your 30s if you have the right skills. It's always about the skills. I'm actually going to do a video where I talk about the top five technologies that I think if you learn, you, are, you can be set for life. So look out for that video. The more you earn, the faster you can retire. Okay, so this brings us to number one. In 2019, if you're going to pick a career, make sure that it is future proof. Now, AI is coming. Artificial intelligence is coming. A lot of the CEOs have started talking about it. I think where we're transforming to is how we do this, how we do AI at scale. How do we truly become an AI-driven company? There's so many thousands or maybe tens of thousands of people's jobs are squarely in the bullseye of some of my friends in AI. And frankly, those tens of thousands of people doing those jobs now have no idea. Now, there are a ton of jobs that are going to be eliminated in the next 12 to 60 months. This is simply because, see, a lot of the companies are placing all of their data and all the applications in the cloud. That is why AWS keeps crashing it in terms of revenue. That is why Microsoft keeps crashing it as well. And there's a race between Google and IBM and Oracle and some of the other players. Even, even what day is in the top 10 list now. And the cloud is going to change the world. You know, Amazon's AWS is growing at an incredible rate. And it's simply because what they are doing is they are moving their applications and the data into the cloud. And they are going to need human beings to be able to capture this data, transform this data, and prepare this data for artificial intelligence to do its magic. So that is, that is why I keep preaching to anyone that will listen that you need to have some data skills because that is the future. 
you have to be able to know where data comes from, what happens to the data, and how you can use the data to help the business. You know, you are going to be running some reports, you are going to be creating some reports, even if you work in HR, if you work in customer support, if you work in healthcare, if you work for government, you are going to be working with a computer and you are going to be working with data. Make sure that you position yourself for what is coming. You know, there's going to be a lot of outsourcing because if the applications and the data is already in the cloud, they can easily hire anyone from the third world or any English speaking country to do your work. And let's be honest, corporations are going to be doing this. So in 2019, if you are looking to embark on a, on a new career or you are looking to start over or you just graduated college, make sure that the career that you choose has these five qualities. Number five is the ability to digitize your skills, you know, create a digital copy of your skills so that you don't have to work till you are 65. You know, so, so case in point, if you're a really good recruiter and you know a lot about resumes, you can just record yourself talking about the key things that every resume should have so that you can reuse it over and over and over. That is the future. So number four is the ability to become a freelancer or a contractor. You want to have that option in case something weird happens to the economy or there is a recession. I think number three should be number one and the millennials probably agree with me. Remote. Remote is everything. I don't have to say more about that. I've said enough about remote. I love remote work. It is also the future. Number two is pay. Tech is great. Tech pays well. You're going to have a lot of options. You can retire early. You can save more. You can have more options. And number one is future proof. Make sure that the career you pick is future proof and it's not going to be obsolete because a ton of jobs and a ton of job titles are going to be rendered obsolete because of the power of the cloud and artificial intelligence. Okay? Acquire some tech skills. Acquire some cardinal skills. Acquire some tableau skills. Acquire some power BI skills. Acquire some ETL skills. Just make sure that you are close to data, you know, you work with data, you are able to create something with data because the machines are going to depend on you. <laughs>